Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on using modification tools to scale and rotate in QCAD. In this tutorial we will see how to use modification tools as scale and rotate to or counter rotate tool in QCAD. For this tutorial I am using Ubuntu version 11.10 and QCAD Community Edition version 2.0.5.0. I assume that you know how to use QCAD. If not, then please refer to our earlier tutorials available on Spoken Tutorial site. Let us start with Scale tool. Open your QCAD application in your system. In my QCAD application, I have set units to meters and grid size to 0 0.01 by 0 0.01. We'll draw a rectangle first. From toolbar, select Line tool and click on the rectangle icon choose map to grid option zoom in on your drawing area by using middle mouse button if your grid, is, grid size is too small I'll create rectangle of 4 grid sizes by 6 so left click for the first corner and again left click to complete it we will dimension this rectangle for it go to dimension horizontal I'll click I'll choose endpoints from snapping option and grid again to place that dimension so we have rectangle of width 40 we will scale this rectangle for that go to modify and choose scale from here or you can either use it from toolbar edit and click on the scale icon here we first need to select rectangle you can do it by selecting each line or from this menu click on select window and drag using left mouse button once object is selected we can continue by clicking on this arrow specify reference point I'm choosing intersection from snapping options I'll choose this point from pop-up window I want to keep original so I've selected this option and I will use factor of 2 let's ok it we will dimension this rectangle now the scaled one let's see so it has created a rectangle double of original size using scale tool depending on factor of scaling you can either enlarge or reduce objects proportionately let us see rotate to tool using rotate to you can create array of objects in circular direction for demonstration purpose I will draw a circle with an object inside from toolbar select circle icon and I'm choosing circle with center and radius of radius say 30 snap to grid here and left click to place the circle on the drawing area now we will draw two horizontal lines going from center of the circle choose line tool from toolbar and this third option horizontal lines let's say line of length 50 and the snap point is middle point of that line which is at 25 distance which will let us say snap to center point of this circle so select center point from the snapping options and left click at the center similarly let's draw another line vertical line perpendicular to this line again line tool this time vertical line we will leave all the other uh, things same length 50 snapping point middle center here now I'll draw another circle and two ta line tangent to that circle inside this go to circle icon circle with center and radius let us draw a smaller circle now say of radius 4 along this line somewhere so I'm choosing from snapping I'm choosing snap to closest point on entity here somewhere now let's draw two lines tangent to this circle from this end point choose line 
tangents from points. Now I am choosing end point of this and tangent to circle. Similarly, let's draw second tangent line, tangent, end point of this here. Okay, now we have our circle with an object inside. Let's say I want to create four copies of this object inside this circle. For this, we will use rotate to tool or counter rotate. Let's select this tool by going to modify. Here, this first rotate tool can create single or multiple rotated copies of an object. Right below there is move and rotate which will let you rotate objects with specified distance and create multiple copies. But we will choose this rotate tool which is, which will let me create multiple copies of objects going in circular direction around a point. So select that. Now select from selection window I need to select this object. So let's click on select window here and drag to select. Once object is selected, continue, click on the arrow. Now it is saying specify absolute reference point. Absolute reference point is to set center of rotation for the main object around which these objects will rotate. So that is going to be center for this of this bigger circle. So let's cl click on snap to center point and here specify relative reference point. Let's specify relative reference point which will be center of this smaller circle. From pop-up window I want to keep original. Let's say keep original. Suppose I want to create four such objects. So one is already there. Let me go. Let me select this multiple copies and number three here because fourth is already done. Angle since there are four, so angle is going to be 90. Angle B. Let's leave it zero for now. We will see how angle B works next. Once it is done, let's OK it. OK, so it has created four copies of this object rotating around the center of this bigger circle. Now let us see how option B works. This is used when we want to rotate multiple copies of this object around a center without rotating object itself. or if we want another angle for that object than the rotation angle. In this one, if you notice, the object around also is rotated. To demonstrate, we will let us first copy this. We will select it, copy, somewhere here. Let's keep original. Control K to deselect. OK. I'll leave this as is. From here, I will remove these three line objects. Press Control to select many. And now I'm going to delete those. OK. Now let's use Rotate 2 tool and see how option B works. This first select this object and now we will select rotate to we can also select it from toolbar edit and icon over here ok object is selected already so we will click on this arrow to continue next the relative reference point oh first the absolute reference point which will be center of this bigger circle so from snapping option click on center point and here next will be relative reference point which will be center of this smaller circle let's say we want to create six copies of this object so I will choose multiple copies and this time I will give number five as sixth one is already there angle will be 60 now because in 360 degrees I want six 
copies. So angle is 60. And now suppose I don't want this object to move this time by around itself. So I will give angle B as minus 60. As we know this angle B works in anti-clockwise direction. So minus 60 will make it 0. Let's click OK here. Now see the difference. Since I had given angle B as minus 60, it has become 0 and objects are arrayed in circular direction but without the rotation for individual objects. Let us come to the assignment part now. I would like you to draw following using tools learnt in this tutorial. Let us see this in detail window over here. Draw a rectangle of size 40 by 60 and scale it to half the size. Now for rotate 2 tool, draw a circle of radius 30 and draw two lines perpendicular to each other as shown in this tutorial. Draw a smaller rectangle of 4 by 8 at the end and then using rotate 2 command, try rotate this rectangle to get 10 copies and also try angle B on this rectangle without rotation of the object. The video available at this URL summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials. We also give certificates to those who pass an online test. Please contact us for more details. Spoken tutorial project is a part of Talk to a Teacher project supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. This project is coordinated by spoken-tutorial.org. For more information about the same, please visit following website. This is Lena signing off. Thanks for joining and enjoy exploring QCAD.